My name is AJ Hartley. I'm a novelist. I want to talk to you a little bit about a small but really important project for which I'm trying to raise a little money. A few years ago, I went to visit South Africa and Swaziland in preparation for a series of books that I was writing. Steeplejack is set in a city, but it's in a world surrounded by wilderness. So when I was in South Africa, I went on safari. I saw some pretty amazing things. I was lucky also to make friends with one of the rangers, a guy called Brilliant, Michael Bailey. And we stayed in touch. A couple of weeks ago, he posted this picture on his Facebook page. This is the local daycare facility, crash, where the kids go so that their parents can work. And, you know, frankly, these people don't have a lot of money and they need to take the work that they can. A few years ago, in the local school, there was a collapse and two children were killed. Now, I want you to look at this. This is basically a concrete box with a metal roof. And if you look closely, you can see the cracks in the structure. They go all the way through the building. It's lucky that it hasn't already collapsed. I mean, forget the fact that the thing is almost falling down. The question to me is, is this how you want kids to live? When Brilliant posted this, he got some responses from the local community saying, oh, I can bring some sand, I can bring some cement. But nobody's seeing it outside the immediate area. And what they really need, frankly, is money. About 80,000 South African Rand which is only about 6,000 US dollars to completely rebuild this facility and make it something decent. This can be fixed, it can be replaced completely, and it's not gonna cost that much. So here's what I want you to do. Go to generosity.com, search for Nicolani Krish, and you'll see it. You can give in any amount, and every dime gonna make a real difference to the lives of these people. I know there are a lot of causes out there, I know there are a lot of natural disasters, terrible things happening in the world right now. This is a really simple thing, it's non-controversial. You can give money to this and know that there's no big company involved. The money goes straight to the people who will do the work. Would you send your kids to this structure every day? We've raised a little over 3,000. We're trying to get the last $3,000 before Christmas of this year. And it's urgent because the rainy season has rendered the building almost completely unusable. The kids just can't be in there, it's not safe. It's not that much money, not considering what it's gonna do. We're looking to invest in the entire community, not just in an individual student for one year, but for all the people who will go through this facility for as long as it lasts. It's not just a place where people go so that their parents can work. This is where the kids are gonna go so that they can get their first taste of reading and writing, and math, and the other things that they're gonna eventually draw on as they become successful, functioning adults. So if you have anything spare, however small, please donate and please spread it around, share it and hopefully we'll be able to give these people the Christmas present that they deserve.